I don't even know if this top is supposed to be tied this way, but I thought it looked cute, so. <laughs> I don't want you to see it. Oh. Okay. What's up guys? It's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been getting quite a few new subscribers. Thank you to everyone subscribing to my channel. Your support means so much to me. Like the fact that my videos are going up in views is making me so so excited and I'm so excited to create some more mom content for you guys. Since I have so many new subscribers, I wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about me. I feel like in my videos you don't really get to see like the sides of me where I'm just chilling with my friends and I'm like a really big weirdo and I feel like I have a lot of interesting facts about me so I thought I would make a video sharing some of those with you so you can get to know me a little bit better. So, first thing about me is I am from a small town in Illinois. I grew up in a town where there was not even like a real Starbucks. It was in this hotel and it was like kind of half of a Starbucks. They didn't even have like a Starbucks menu up. Um, when I moved to LA, there's Starbucks everywhere and they're like, you don't even have any in your town? And I'm like, no. Um, so there's only one high school. Everyone knows everyone. It's the kind of town where you go to Walmart and you run into your math teacher and your best friend's mom. Next fun fact is I moved to LA at the age of 18 years old and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done but probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. I have been dancing since I was three years old and my dream in life has always been to go on tour specifically with Beyonce. And so I knew in order to make those dreams happen, I would have to move out to LA and that's exactly what I did. I wasn't really sure what to do for college because dance was the only thing that I was interested in. Um, but it was important to my parents that I get a degree. So I went to a performing arts college and I was able to get my BFA in dance theater and I have gone on to um, achieve a lot of my dreams thus far in life and I feel super grateful for the opportunities that I've been given. So that leads me to my next fun fact. I have been on a world tour um, all over South America. My dream in life was to book a world tour and I actually did it and it's kind of crazy. So yes, I um, traveled around South America. Um, it was crazy to see the world. I really love Chile and Peru and all those amazing countries are just so awesome. You don't realize how different the world is until you leave the US and it is just like such an eye opener and there's so much out there and it's so beautiful and I highly recommend you go out and you see it. Fun fact number four, I am obsessed with Frank Sinatra. I listen to his music all the time. If I am ever down, just play some Frank Sinatra and I will instantly get happy. There's just something about his voice that seems very nostalgic to me and it just makes me super thankful for everything in my life. I don't know, um, Frank does something to me. Um, so I love listening to Frank Sinatra and if I'm ever feeling anxious or sad or I just am in a good mood, I will play Frank. Fun fact number five, when I was younger I would eat pizza rolls but you know the Scooby-Doo snacks? I would eat the pizza roll and then when I had a little bit left, I would put the Scooby-Doo snack in my mouth and the flavors of them mixing together were so good. I don't even think they sell Scooby-Doo snacks anymore, but if they do, I highly recommend you try it. I got a lot of my friends to do it and they were like, oh, it actually is pretty bomb. So that is something weird that I did as a child. Pop my ears. Oh, fun fact number six is my ears constantly get clogged and normal people like will blow and hold their nose to pop them but I do this thing where I go and I like make a sound and it pops my ears for me and I can hear. I know it's super weird and I used to do it in school a lot because I just, I don't know if I have a hearing problem or what but I literally couldn't hear everyone. They just sounded muffled. So I would always do that and people thought I was crazy. Number seven, I am the only girl besides my mom and my dogs in the family. I have three brothers, so um, I know how to fight. <laughs> we would uh, wrestle when we were younger, and I definitely learned to hold my own. Number eight, Yogi Berra is my distant cousin. He's a really famous baseball player. 
I'm not quite sure how we're related, but I know he is in my family line, so I thought that was cool. Number nine, I have really bad luck with piercings. It's like my body just rejects them, so when I got my ears pierced for the first time, they got embedded into my ear, so basically, like, the whole front stud was sucked into my earlobe, and it looked like I didn't have an earring on at all, except in the back, that was still there. So I had to get it surgically removed and then I stood up and I passed out and it was a very traumatic experience for me. 10. This one actually might be TMI but I don't really care because it doesn't happen to me anymore. When I was younger, um, I like came home from dance class and I literally pissed blood <laughs> and um, I was too young to have started my period at that time so my mom took me to the hospital and they discovered that I have like a tear somewhere inside of me so whenever I work out super super hard um, I will pee blood. It hasn't happened to me in a really really long time but occasionally maybe like once a year it'll happen to me and I'll be like whoa this is weird and I'll like get this pain in my stomach but yeah I have a tear somewhere inside of me I don't know. Fun fact number 11 I performed at Coachella with Kanye West um, it was an exhausting experience, but it was so much fun, and I would love to perform at Coachella again. Number 12, whenever I eat fried chicken, I have to have a dark soda with it, and then when I eat the chicken, I keep it in my mouth, and then I take a drink of the soda, and I mix it together, and it tastes so good. I know it's super weird, but like I accidentally did it one time when I was eating KFC when I was younger, and I was like, wait, that tasted so good. So now it's just like something I have to do whenever I eat like chicken tenders or fried chicken. <laughs> Fun fact number 13 is I have a retainer on the back of my bottom teeth. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I want to show it to you because sometimes it can get dirty. But uh, I hurt right there and it's permanent and it never comes out of my mouth. So yay for straight teeth. Number 14, I have had many jobs in my lifetime. I have done probably anything that you could think of besides like being a zookeeper or something. I have worked in a restaurant as a server. I've worked as a hostess. I have been a daycare worker. I am a professional dancer. I have worked at a fashion store. I've worked at events as like a helper to keep things going, to answer people's questions. And I worked five jobs at one time, and it was insane. This last New Year's, I worked three jobs in one day. I worked from 9 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. and the next day, and it was absolutely exhausting, and I will never do it again. <laughs> I'm back 15. I worked at a really high-end restaurant in Hollywood, and I've seen probably any celebrity you could think of besides Beyonce, because... I just can't seem to run into her out here, but um, yes, I have seated 21 Savage, Trey Songs, Leo DiCaprio, CeeLo Green, Ella May, Usher, Chris Brown. I have seated many, many celebrities, and um, it was a really cool part of my job, and I really enjoyed it. I'm trying to think of the nicest celebrity that I've met, and honestly, Malika, Khloe Kardashian's best friend, was so nice to me, and so was um, Trey Songz. He, like, talked to me like we were best friends. And then 21 Savage is my favorite rapper ever, and I just love his voice. And so when I seated him, I was kind of fangirling, and then he asked me if I had a jacket because it was cold, and I just, I couldn't speak. I was so starstruck. Which, I don't really get starstruck out here because you see celebrities everywhere, but... 21 Savage just holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> Fun fact 17, I have had the worst and the best luck with roommates. Um, when I was looking for an apartment, I probably had five roommates that bailed on me like at different places. It was like a three month long process. Um, but that was just God's way of leading me to my current roommates. Um, I've met my last three roommates on Facebook just by chance and they turn out to be amazing people that I'm so happy are in my life. So I got um, very lucky with that and yeah, if you want a roommate, hey, look on Facebook, you might find your best friend. Fun fact 18, I hate tea. I don't know what it is, I literally cannot drink it. If there's even any tea in it and you give it to me, I will spit it out right in front of you. Like I, it's just the taste, I can't do it. it I don't know what it is. 
So yes, I have a very strong hate for tea. <laughs> I wish I liked it because when I'm sick, it'd be great to drink, but I just drink like hot tang or something. Number 19, I've never been to New York and I know that's like kind of a random fact, but as a dancer, like it's LA and New York and it kind of just makes sense to go visit New York, but I never have. So I'm hoping to visit New York sometime soon. It looks super cute. And my last fun fact is I have family that actually still lives in Italy. Um, my family is Italian and um, they immigrated from Italy. I think it was, I don't know, I don't know which, like if it was my grandma's parents, I think that's what it was. They um, came to the US, so I still have some cousins in Italy. Um, they are distant, but um, really want to go visit Italy because I think that would be so cool to learn about my past and my history. So hopefully one of these days I'll be able to fly to Italy and visit everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. Again, thank you so much for your support. It seriously puts such a big smile on my face, especially reading kind comments. I don't get too many mean ones yet, um, but all the kind comments mean so much to me. It really makes my day and it makes me happy that there are good people in this world. Make sure to hit the like, the comment, and the subscribe button, and I will see you all next week with a new video. Peace!